Hey guys, this is Victor again. Um, I have another makeup tutorial for you. Today I'll be doing a look that I did on my amazing friend Cassandra Banks and on my another amazing oh. friend, Sarah. <laughs> Hi. Who's a model and also a makeup artist for MAC. Yes. Get excited. And it's weird because Sarah always does her makeup, so I did it this time and she doesn't get her makeup done all the time. No, it's a lot of fun. I don't yeah. usually wear blue lipstick. But <laughs> exactly. And, um, and yeah, uh, when I posted the look, a lot of people liked it and I thought, you know, maybe I should do a tutorial for it with nails included. So very, very pretty. I feel like this is a little bit more editorial. Um, but I guess, like, mostly the eyes you could do for, like, day to night look. Let's jump straight to the video and I'll show you how to get this look, motherfuckers. <laughs> I won't put that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first things first, we're gonna start by priming the eye. Okay, I'm using Trish McAvoy's eye primer. Uh, this is their same flesh tone, so it's going to help to even out all those veins and redness that you got from not sleeping and drinking and just being irresponsible. So let's go ahead and even out both eyes. Next, we're going to use this pale blue color to highlight the lid. So this should be a little bit lighter than your skin tone. And just going to make the lid pop out a little bit. Make sure to get it in the inner crease as well just to make sh to make the eye kind of open a little bit more. Next we're using a darker color and we're going to put this on the outer edges and it's just, just going to create a little bit of dimension and it's also going to build the color. Um, the shadows that I'm using are baked so if you put a little bit of water in them it helps to create a deeper effect. Now I'm using the darker blue and with a smaller brush I'm just creating a V shape on the outer corner. And here I'm going back in with a wet brush just to build that intensity. And don't be shy, you know, go over the V-shape as many times as you want just to get the right amount of color. Now that I have the look I want, I'm bringing it to the bottom eyeliner area or whatever you want to call it. Just kind of give her a little bit of a drop shadow effect. Then I'm just going to line the eyes on the outer corner with the black liner. and smudge it into the lash line. For any look like this where you want intense color, it's very important that you blend it in as close to the lash line as possible and in between the lashes as well so that there's no, there's no like stopping and everything is blended and seamless. And I'm blending that darker color into the crease as well. Now I'm just going to clean up the bottom and the brow bone just to get the perfect shape on both eyes. And here I'm using a Dolly Wink mascara. This is a Japanese mascara. It actually works really well. If you have small lashes, 
and you need a ton of lashes because you want to be amazing. A mascara like this would be perfect because it has a short brush and it really grabs onto every single lash. Using the tip of the brush, I'm getting mascara on the bottom lashes. And just a little bit of concealer to clean up the under eye area. And voila, we have the eyes. Well, almost, I need to fill in the brows. As you can see, there's nothing tricky about the brows, we're just filling them in. Sarah actually has a really good brow shape, so I don't need to create anything funky. But for this look, you might want to think about using a lighter brow instead of a crazy ass brow. And now for the lip. So what I did for the lip um, for the photo shoot is I used the back of a brush and I started grinding the bike shadows onto my hand and then I just mixed them with a little bit of lip gloss. A blue tone lip gloss would be the best so that it doesn't change the color a lot and then you just created your own lipstick. Using a lip brush applied on the lips. Follow the lip line. For added drama, I'm using a darker color to outline the lip liner area. And then a lighter color just to bring out the middle of the lip. For the cheeks, I'm also using a cool tone blush. Uh, I mixed two blushes, one that's plumish and then the other one that's more of like a purple pink. And there we go, that's the finished look. That's how you get the look. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down in the question comment section down below. I don't know if it's called that, it's just, you know, you know what it is. If you try the look and you want to show me what it looks like, you can always hashtag it on what would Victor do on Instagram. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Sarah is also on Instagram, do you want me to follow me or no? Yeah, right? sure. Okay, what's your Instagram, Sarah? My Instagram is sarahjean underscore p04. There you go. Lots of MAC makeup. I'll put it like around here and I'll put mine around here. Yes, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time with another look. This is my first time on YouTube, so <laughs> thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys again, and it was fun. Yay. Yay. Okay, bye. Bye.